episode of SRB Gaming, I am Kristen, and once again joined by Nancy A.K. Stellar Nan. And so we are continuing through our adventures of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, the edition. And um, I didn't know how to label the last two parts, so I just, because they, they have it on YouTube as Scott Pilgrim vs. World, the game, or Scott Pilgrim vs. World, the game, complete edition. Technically, since we're playing the Switch version, this would be the complete edition. Um, so... Yeah, uh, last we left off, it took us a while, but we managed to beat Todd, um, kicked his ass, um, and we made him be gone. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah, so a couple things to note. We, you printed out some notes to help uh. us with the shop area <laughs> and where to grind a little, which we'll see, we'll see where we go here in this. If we muck up like we did last level, then yeah, we'll go, we'll go for your, your plan of starting to grind up a little. The other thing I found out is the money glitch trick I, I told you about in part one technically doesn't exist anymore to complete edition. So what they did instead was they introduced more cheat codes. So there's two different cheat codes. There's this is stupid because there's actually is a method to do it because there's a code where you take a life you get 50 bucks. Um, and what you can do is. You can just easily spam that with another player and share the money, like the original money glitch. Or, <laughs> or this is the funny part because this file just destroys that. There's just the infinite money glitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, a code. Infinite money cheat code. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, we're gonna go with your idea. Because what I loved about the original money glitch was it was a glitch. It was something I could take advantage of and exploit it. Here, it's flat out just use a cheat code. I this game, I don't really feel like using a cheat code for it. So what we'll do is, if we're able to get, if we're still struggling with the Roxy level, we'll go back and start grinding a bit. You know, if, we, if we're still struggling with the Roxy level, or any future level that they're in. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get started. Yeah. <laughs> and I pressed the right button. So we're already off to a good start. So as I already noted to you, I hinted at you with that really cool picture I sent you. I I didn't really have anything to do after work, so after I got on Darren's, I read all six books, like Scott Pilgrim novels. I read all six no I want novels, mo volume. I read all six volumes of Scott Pilgrim. So I have notes. I have them on my phone. There were some noteworthy things I wanted to point out. Let's Oh, you wrote notes? I should have done that too. That's good. Idea. It's no, it, it's not really like notes overall. Cause like right now, I can tell you a couple things. One, I I brought up how I still enjoy the books more than the sh than the sh what is it the movie. Um, rereading the books solid solidified that fact. <laughs> Just that alone solidified that fact. Cause holy crap, there's so I didn't realize how much side character development is in there. Like Scott's still the main focus and stuff. But there actually is some significant side stories, like, uh, and stuff like that. And, like, there's a couple of stuff I note. Like, that is, ooh, not Lisa. Um, I forgot her name. She's one of Julie's friends that shows up in the middle of the comic, in the middle of the, in the gra graphic novel. Falling Sandra? Games. Sandra, I believe, yeah. That's her. Or is she one of Kim's roommates? I forgot. Oh, oh, you're already down. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> I remember she was uh, roommates with the, the girl that she was at the store with. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't see. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, no, but uh, there's stuff I noted that we may have to restart this. We should have bought some stuff. So just going into this. Just like jumping, just blazing. Yeah. Come on. Oh, there we go. So you're dead, dead now. I'm on my own. I don't know if there's a way I can. I don't remember if there was a way I can transfer a light to it or something. Okay, we're gonna just exit. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try this again. That was a demo. <laughs> that was a demonstration of our power. Okay. Okay, a couple of things. Oh, one of the things I know is I forgot they 
they un Scott unintentionally gave tried to gave Ramona the nickname Rami. Because I'm like, oh, it's just one thing. No, they, the rest of the characters occasionally bring up calling her Rami. He's like, why are you okay, so that thing? we're okay. So let's let's use your method. So let's let's see where we have to go to um. Level up it that. recommends if you want to go if, if you want to um, go the expensive way, do the video thing. But if you want to try and you know save some money, uh, there are two shops in World One. Um, the sushi bar and shockwave records that where a lot of, uh, what's points. so what's a good one for because we we need some leveling up back. i would say go back to world one and then these two shops the sushi bar and the shockwave river shockwave records and of course this is in the world, shopping district right? yeah okay those, so yeah we'll those, start in the shopping those district. two shops at this at world one okay it's like the avocado gives you a bunch of gives you health, i'm more focused on it i'm focused so and, so, and then, so crash the and then uh Smashing turnips and crashing the boys give you uh, 64 gut points and 64 experience points. So that's a way to like really level up fast is uh, getting smashing turnips, turnips and crashing the boys will give you a lot of uh, uh, okay. experience points. But crashing the boys and smashing turnips give you the same amount. Oh, but uh, smashing turnips gives you eight strength, whereas crashing the boys gives you eight speed. I'm more focused on strength because I've noticed that when I, you know, on the original PS3 version, I would just, I'd be so more safer getting my strength up. So I guess. So, well, do you know where we're at on money though? I'm around fit. Well, well, let's see. Let's jump in and see. Because okay. uh, smashing turnips and crashing the boys are like 16, 14. Let me. There he is. Um. Okay. I mean, we're good. I mean. We at the very, the I, at the very least, you can get at least, according to this, probably at least two to three smashing turnips. I can probably get at least two. We'll do that. Let's let's go grab some smashing turnips. Okay. We'll talk about fun stuff. I I, I re realized while reading through Scott Pilgrim. Like apparently, I originally when I breezed through the original Scott Pilgrim's last final finest hour, like the final one, I totally lost the fact of all the. Sh crazy shit Gideon did as well as like why Ramona left in the first place like initially when she faded not faded out of existence but faded into the subspace I didn't really like oh it's so mysterious that she's like I was just hanging out with my dad I did <laughs> I forgot like how creepy Gideon was like he fucking um he cryogenically froze all of his ex-girlfriends hoping to one day they reconsider breaking up with him yeah he wanted to be with all of them yeah. And they're like, where the heck am I? I also write the colored version as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, like, you're more normal on the hair colors, and there's even, like, one joke where, like, Ramona this brings was, up this how... This was funnier in the, the black and white. Yeah, when Ramona changes see. her hair dye blue, and it's like, this was funnier in the <laughs> funnier in the black and white version. Um, yeah, Rami. I also forgot that, like, uh, Scott apparently is the, the, the tough, like, the best fighter in Toronto. It, like, Kim brings that up in the, the beginning of the Patel fight. Is that he's the toughest fighter in, uh, he's the best fighter in which Toronto. Is, which is something, because he gets wailed on a lot. Also, I forgot the whole, him chucking the, 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 the Amazon Canada package was only in the movie. <laughs> like, it was a small thing where he tossed it, but... They made a thing in the movie because I remember uh, when they did a sushi place. There's these. That's the only. I love too. Okay, and that's Young Neil. That is Young Neil. Yes. That is Young Neil. Sorry, Neil. That's Neil. <laughs> that is Neil. Yeah, you. I think last place where you were like that's other stuff. I'm like. That's Sandra that's Dee's. That's the place they go to so often when they record. The and the smiley face on everything. That's a nod to how Ramona's uh, camera has a smiley face on it. You can tell this by using it. Um, yeah, also, gotta make sure not to die too. Yeah, like, that, especially. That might be a good idea. Okay, that is. Yeah, damn, I'm looking at the characters now. I'm starting to remember everybody. I'm looking. That the guy with the beard is Joseph. <laughs> the guy who no filter <laughs> just like calls like like he shows up in the in the segment with with Envy and Todd and just like. 
has a low key voice but has no filter to it. Like these guys are trash. Hope you burn. Like has that low key voice in it, and like eventually winds up with um Steven Stills in the end. Yes. Which is cool. Even though I love I love Scott Tully. He's like, wait, did Julia make you gay? <laughs> it's like. And even I mean, Jimmy's like, why do you still have these friends? <laughs> He's like, I hate your friends, get new friends. Yeah, I hate your friends, get new friends. And then Scott's face of utter shock and joy. Okay, this is flat this iron. Is, this is shockwave for the record. So we need sushi place, right? Is that uh, what we're going? For, for the, um... Well, the... we could get these. Oh, shockwave. Back. Yeah, shockwave is where we're going. Yeah. So we don't have to go that far. Yeah, you definitely know all the help you can get. Wow! No, you're literally dying. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can go first if you want. You need more right now. And I can look up more of the stuff. I realized when reading through the, 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 the graphic novel game, I also realized how far fall they get. Like, like, um, I think it was in the first book, first uh, volume, where like Scott goes, I have some issues of job. Probably won't pick that up till later volume. Or Ramon goes. Yeah, I have some, some stuff in my job too. We won't get it probably until the third volume. <laughs> or like, yeah, I like how well he planned it out. Yeah, or he, like near the end, he goes, "Okay, if you need to know about, you should have read the previous volume." You know, it's like a lot of like fourth wall, like just that was just the fourth wall stuff. Um, <laughs> oh, damn, that was quick. Um, you need health, bad. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so we're. What am um, I getting? I don't think there's Smashing any, turnips. There's no health regeneration at this store. So. That's fine. Um, for me, I'm should be fine, but like, that's all I can get. What's Clash of Demon Head giving me? Clash of Demon Head uh, gives you the 64 G guts point, experience points, and it gives you eight will points. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, very. Nice. I don't feel bad using like guides, especially if I've already beaten something before. But <laughs> just uh, like you know, I just I feel bad for your health right now, and you have no lives. I have no lives. Neither of us have lives. I mean, it, the the experience points and everything will carry over, so it's not that big of a deal. I mean, okay, I'll get this way. We'll go back. And it, you know, if we die, guess what? We have three lives again, so. <laughs> at the very least, we're attempting to be better at this. Okay. Nope, nope. Back. Yeah, I believe, I also read online, yeah. Uh, Negascott, we only get after uh, uh, being the game with all characters. Oh. Negascott, we only get to be the game for all characters. I believe knives, we just get for being the game, I believe. I don't know why, like, Wallace is available, but he, but Wallace is available, she isn't, but he, she was the original unlockable. She was the original, like, character unlock for the first DLC pack that came out for the game. I remember, too, like, like, Rock, Scott sees Roxy and, and Ramona together, and then, like, puts two and two together, and then she goes, wait, you got a job? He's like, I mean, she's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. I'm so proud of you, you didn't brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> you had a sexy face? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot he says that in the comment. I thought that was just a line from the freaking um, book. I'm from the movie. Oh, your face now. I wrote down the recipe for their vegan, uh, vegan uh, shepherd's pie. Too. Oh, that would be so fun to make. Because he even, like, when they're actually having a legit conversation, Steven still is just like, and so you do this, you have your, you make your friends do all the other labor intensive stuff. <laughs> okay. That makes me remember about how, um, in Sonic the Hedgehog, the, the original Sonic the Hedgehog comic, there's actually a recipe for chili dogs. And of course, I, Ramon, like, n with knives and summon for Ramona, that's a nod to her getting a job at the second cup. But then, I love the scene where Scott realizes it, and then, like, 
because he asks if Stacy's in, and she goes, "Who's Stacy?" Then I love the little tangent. Scott realizes that there's such thing as same names of just realize there's same, same names of place, not same people working there. That's different, different <laughs> locations, pretty much. Same name, different locations. <laughs> and he just leaves. I forgot how awkward Scott gets in the in the beginning of the final book, because it's before he takes on Nega Scott. Because Nega Scott's basically the embodiment of like all of his like responsibilities and like stress and stuff like that and like he's just facing... and he's so desperate like he wants to sleep with knives at one point he literally says you want to have sex casual sex <laughs> well, that's, casual... It, that's in part because of wallace he's just like you you just need to get laid to like chill out and he's like Meh. he's like what are you talking about i don't need to do that and then he literally tries to do it <laughs> If anything, I think the strength will help us out if anything else, the strength boost. That's what, like, honestly, like, we we know that we need to work on, like, better defending ourselves. <laughs> but, if anything, I have no experience. Let's see. Oh, the reason Scott, oh, this one is good. The reason Scott has over $500 in late fees at the No Count video. I read this and I wrote it all down. <laughs> I wrote it all down. <sighs> so... Scott has over 500 hours late fees in no account video because he is over three six weeks late on returning the Land Before Time 4. Wow. Um, Scott claims that not only have mice hit the BNT somewhere in the apartment, but also claims he rented it as a joke. <laughs> uh, I also forgot Kim works at no account video too. That's her job, is at yeah. no account video. Before she moves back with her parents for a bit, uh, that was her job. Oh, I forgot the guy had their band name at the end of the book. I think it was like Scale, scale Hounds or something like that. Sound I forgot the name of the vendor band. Let's see. Oh, Scott's ideas about Ro Oh, goddamn. Scott's ideas about Rome. <laughs> this is hilarious because just his mindset. Like, this dude is. I forgot how much of an airhead Scott is. <laughs> like, he just completely forgets about stuff. Like, stuff that happens inside the book like yeah, the, like the like whole, a few like, prior that that whole saving kim thing was just an idealized version in his head yeah but it, i mean it was a really cool river city ransom reference but in, in reality that's not how it actually went so he's a, a pretty unreliable narrator yeah oh like like how he can how he forgets um like uh, like two pages prior about like what uh ramona told him about uh Lucas. And like Lucas was funny too, because I, I think I definitely like him more in the movie. I definitely will keep my my previous wife said before about like him more in the movie. Because in the book, he's just a bit of a dick. Like a he's supposed to be like a self-centered asshole sellout and stuff like that, but like that's all he is in the in the book. It just they have a conversation he beats him up, throws him in, into the into the into the castle building, and then after that just that's it. Like, they talked for a bit. He talked about why he liked Ramona, what happened. He's still a self-centered prick. He even goes as far as to say Scott could pay him. And he'll let Gideon know that, you know, he guys ass whooped by him and stuff like that. <laughs> like, he is a dick, too. And it was just unintentional how he's like, he kind of, Scott kind of tricked him into taking that rail grind that killed him and stuff like that. But that's really it. Yeah, he didn't fight a lot of the exes, he just, he, it kind of, like, fixed itself. Well, I, I don't think, I, I mean, I think that's fine, because it, it kind of offers something, a different way to do things. Oh, oh, they samurai me. Damn it, I'm, oh, I'm dead too. Oh, we're both <laughs> dead, so, at least we get three lives in. Okay, Scott's ideas about Rome. Leaning Tower? A spicy meatball? The Pope of Rome? All these have question marks. Meatball. I'm just not in, I'm not I'm not, in, un, I'm not unintentionally the same the, um Vespas? Are those Italian? Rome is in Italy, right? And Gladiator? This was a movie. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Ingredients for a vegan shepherd's pie, four potatoes, two memes, carrots, one stick of celery with leaves. Uh 
two medium carrots, one six dollar leaves, two cloves garlic, we fake try that. fake meat stuff. <laughs> Um, you know, fake meat stuff's probably easier to get because it'll be impossible for ground beef stuff. Um, soy milk, soy margarine, red wine, optional. Uh, the finest olive oil and vegan gravy mix. Sounds not that bad. Are you sure you don't want to? Okay. <laughs> we have three lives. We have full health. Let's see how far we get. It's funny because this is not the first time Scott Face sees Roxy too. It's in like, it's like in the they kept the faithful in the in the in the movie too, but even though she says she punched me in the boob a few more times in the movie, yeah, they they really wanted to lay that on thick. Yeah, it's like, oh well, you hit me, well you punched me in the boob, well you hit me, well you punched me in the. It's like okay, we get it. Like in the book, it's just like one line and they move on, because he's like, after you. It's not even until he see. He's, he sees her in the in the restaurant he's working at as a dishwasher. He, he realizes it. Please. Randomly back to the, the ordering the book online. That that was when that that was kind of dated as well because that was when Amazon was just for ordering books. Like no, or CDs. CDs. He ordered CDs on Amazon.ca to get on. Well, Wallace's originally. Amazon was for books and CDs and DVDs and stuff, but they later expanded to sell all kinds of other stuff, so that's how they got their start. Come on. Buy his money, grab his money. Oh, things are not Ramona and their part. Re list of things that are not cool about Scott's apartment. <laughs> I wrote that list down too. Cause I thought it was, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, what was it? Only one room, only one bed, and it's shared with a gay man. I'm, I'm reading right off what it says in the. Uh, no light. Yeah, no. I forgot they slept in the same okay. bed. No light, but it's crossed out. Then she puts no natural light. Uh, tiny bathroom, tiny kitchen. All items in the apartment belong to the gay man. Not girl friendly. I mean, that does matter. <laughs> I love, also love, I remember all our stuff besides why we on the list, too. When he's like, and that's why you need to get. Oh, I thought, oh, and you were the cat gay. You saw us having sex. You're like, wait, you named the cat Gideon? Ramona. Look, I was going through some things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he keeps refusing Lucas Lee, Luke, Luke Wilson, for some reason. And then when you see somebody else, he calls him Luke Wilson. He's like, wait, no! Oh, the crater to the moon. We never even brought that up when we were in the uh, second second level. Um, oh, I have a mid-air dive. Oh, how like to prove his love to um, Ramona, he put a crater in the moon. Oh and yeah, then, and then they caught and him. Molt did it. He, <laughs> then he did speak. it again. Then he did it again for Envy, which is hilarious. I also forgot, because in the color version, I forgot, because Brie Larson is blonde, and they use that just to use her natural blonde hair for the for the film, but Envy's actual hair color is like red. It's a redhead. Yeah. I forgot about that. And they're like, I'm like, that's pretty cool. We talked about that last time where people are like, oh, she looks like me, so I'm on it. But in reality, it was more like Asuka from Neon Genesis. I was thinking the other Asuka. Well, no, he's hit WWE for a sec. But yeah, no, Oscar. That <laughs> Oscar, yeah. You got wrestling on the mind. I always got wrestling on mind. Um, the only thing really dated about the story overall is just the technology. Honestly. Like you were saying, Amazon.ca. Um, the computer they're using. The fact that near the end, the, in the finest hour, I guess Neil let him use his PSP Go. <laughs> Which is just, a, it was the version of like a, it was like a PSP micro. Oh yeah, he, he like sold it to Scott. He's like, I got this gaming system. 
like, you, you no, no, for it. no, Scott, no, because Wallace asked him, and hey, you got that for free, right? Yeah, of course. For $200. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and I forgot too, how much Wallace helped him with evil exes. Like, I, and it's far away. Like I said, Todd's like one of the best side characters of not only the movie, because I think, um, I think the actor named Rory Culkin plays him amazingly in the in the movie. He's such a good But man. he's such a cool, good friend, too. He's like that friend who, like, is just completely straightforward, like, dude, you need to get a job. Dude, get we, shit together. We're, our lease is <laughs> coming up on this apartment. We need to get our shit together. Okay, this is what you need to know about taking on Gideon. This is what you need to know about taking on Todd. Have you done your research yet? Have you played Tony Hawk, him in Toy Hawk's Pro Skater? Which I forgot, it's like, I could put him in Toy Hawk's Pro Skater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing pretty good against the ninjas. Well, oh, those, their swords are pretty, like, <laughs> OP, to be honest. Yeah, and plus, that's we why did, I was like, oh, like, swap out. Good. Like, hurry up before we transition to this part where we transition to the next level. Yeah, grab, grab the sword before it's too late. Oh, I forgot to grab the money! Uh, <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. Oh, there was a sword that was closer to me on the edge. Oh, well. I forgot how much Crash and the boys also helped out in the pod fight, too. <laughs> Where they're like, we're playing music with the sound waves because we're so advanced. <laughs> and, like, really? and it wasn't just, and like, the movie says, like, he ate gelato, and of course that's not vegan. But uh, I love the part, too, because they add in this, like, wait, it's chicken. Oh, I love this chick song. It's chicken parm. Oh, yeah, this is one of the. Oh, I love this song, too. Yeah, this song is it, Is chicken parm. Is chicken parm vegan? <laughs> it's like. It, literally just said and even the vegan police are not entirely sure it's like dude yeah that's pretty funny like if it has the word chicken i'm pretty sure <laughs> um well. i got hit with too many fireballs <laughs> ah yes oh that's okay i'm fine i'm fine i'm, I'm i saw I was like afraid that guy was gonna shoot the fireball. Yeah, the sword, having the sword in this area is so important. Oh, money! I grab some money. Juggle! Air juggle! Air juggle! Air juggle! Air juggle! I think he's dead. You wanna check if he's dead? Oh, I, I heard um, that in River City Girls 2, they're gonna have air juggling combos. And I'm like, oh, sweet! Uh, oh, did you see the, like you said, you saw the gameplay for Shredder's Revenge, which is the, hey look, Scott's parents, who are rich? <laughs> okay, yeah, see, this is what I'm confused at, okay, I know they're back, majority of the book, they're backpacking, you know, basically. like, and it's just, we never see Lor his other brother, Lawrence, either, but like, they're just backpacking in Europe, and like, there's a line in the last book where like, they give, him, they give him his own apartment, basically. They do give him his own apartment, and like, he thanks them, and they ask, do you want anything else, sweetie? Like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, a pony, and stuff. And I don't think they were being sarcastic. <laughs> and it's funny, so when what, he first- Is there anything of note in this big tank? Dory? There's a Dory swinging in the background. There's and a couple of column stars. fish. Nemo, and Dory. <laughs> yeah. And those Mario stars? <laughs> If they were yellow, I would say yes. Um, then I love too when when he first tells them about Ramona and like they're all have playing a stupid guessing game about it. Like, who is this? Is this that? Wow, how did you know? <laughs> like what? Um. Oh yeah, no. But uh, Shire. Oh yeah, is this one? I know there's a door coming up for subspace. Um. That's not that. That's definitely not it. And I'm dead. Sprinkle! There you go. I'm back! Eat! I did it! <laughs> Good job. I'm trying to remember to knock them down, then try and revive. Because <laughs> I'm always like, oh, why I go I... straight to like try oh, to revive. Oh, I just checked my sword. Damn it. I'm trying to unlearn that. Yeah, using this sword is the best way to get through this area. And not getting hit by them, too. That helps. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ooh, uh, new move, uh, towel tap right while holding A. So I think you have like a, like a running attack. Basically. There we go. Yeah. Um, um, Treasure Revenge, 
thought. Looks awesome. Um, I, like I didn't fully see it because I don't want like the game comes out this summer. They confirmed it is a summer release for this game, and like I want to play it with you possibly, and um, we'll have to see where that goes. But like it comes out it does come out this summer. I really want to play more. I did see the first level at the very least. Who um, excited to play it? Always Mikey. Always will never <laughs> not be Mikey. Like I always, I love his running animation in in Shredder's Revenge. Um, it is cool too. They did get the original '90s voice cast. So I was, or kind of hoping, they get the voice cast from the Nickelodeon version. Like, okay, I don't. I like. I do like the original '90s voice cast. I do. I can tell why they're doing it too. It makes perfect sense. It's supposed to be like a own spiritual successor sorts of turtles in time. But I don't know. It's just they're fine. Like I, I don't think more or less of. Oh, we got that. So, um, that's that is other Scott. That's other Scott. <laughs> that is a hundred percent other Scott. That is one hundred. Hey, look. What does this say? Do -do -do -do. Da, da -di -da -do. Oh, I never knew that. <laughs> and that's, I think that's, um, either one of Julie's roommates or one of Kim's, oh, Julie's friends or Kim's roommates. I don't remember which one. I don't remember all the names, because there's a lot of people that show up in that. Like, I give, I give even more credit to the team that worked on this game. They do a lot of nods from the graphic novel. A lot. Like, this is definitely more of a, like, less of an adaptation of movie, like a movie adapted game, and more of an adaptation of the graphic novel. It's the best way of putting it. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, the only- like I told you before on Messenger, my only real criticism right now of Shredder's Revenge is, like, they say their- their lines every time they do a super, which I'm like, oh, I have a lot of pretty cool, but then there's a point where I'm like, I would prefer- oh, yeah, we gotta- I think we get a prize, or we don't have to fight as many dudes. Oh, go with the air one! Go with the air one! Go with the air one! I- I'm trying. Yeah, we got money. Grab the monies. Grab monies. I do like um how they do the health system. Oh, is this the door? No. Oh, it's when the rolling balls happen. Um, oh, we're still being destroyed. Oh, fuck. look at that! Look at their little poses. Crap! Oh I sorry, I dropped my sword. Oh. We need to take out those gray ones. Because they, they yeah. can cast fireballs. I know. I definitely can. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, I finally have the. Oh, great. The worst time, too. Come on, get up, he's get up. He's freaking spamming. He. Oh my god, he's actually not stopping until you're dead. Motherfucker is not. Oh, I can do this now. Where is it? I can't. Damn it. Oh my god. I gotta look here. Okay, now I remember which one I have. Yeah, he was just spamming you, and you were already on the ground dead. Yeah, that's some messed up AI. <laughs> God damn it. I know it's coming up. I know it's coming up. Um, no, what I was saying, um, I love the healing system, how they're doing it, because when you pick the pizza, everybody's health got refilled. Which, it was such a thing, and it was such an annoying thing in the... God damn it! Oh, he kicked me into the hole. That's you can't up. throw them into the hole. I, it's well, well, it's I'm tricky. He, he, the kick, the, the knockback made me land in the hole. That was funny to me. Oh, you are you kidding me again? Those swords do too much. On, go away. Yeah! <laughs> but I'm dead now! No! Oh, great. We're... Wow, really? <laughs> I got you. I got you. I'm coming back anyways. I like that it, it knocks them down there you when go. you're revived. Ah, oh, come on, we're stuck in this... God bless it. 
Okay. Okay. Let's see. No, not here. Oh, okay. we just gotta be careful of the hole. Hey, here it goes. I think this is it. Is it? There is chop, chop, chop. Let's take care of this guy first. Yeah, get out of here. Now this is the frying pan. I'll, I'll just take some ramen. Though. Good. <laughs> My life. The frying pan has all the meters. So which kushiori? Kushiori gives me everything. Gives you 100 HP, 100 data touch points, 64 XP, 3 strength, and 3 defense. Okay, let's see. Um, kushiori one. There we go. Awesome. I mean, I I'll leave it up to you if you want to do that as well. But yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Sorry. What else? Sorry. Sorry. Um. That's this one. Okay. So. I need it. Oh, cool. They tell you which ones to go. So, sushi. What's the front thing you is? Uh. None of this is to go. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> Scott's dance barbecue. Um, here. Well, that sucks. Well, then, I would definitely then recommend getting the Kushiari Morigase, because you are... Oh, yeah. you're still engaged. Oh, sorry. Go, go for it. I don't remember all the names, but like I said, give credit to them. They have a lot in here of people. It could be and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it had a lot of... Um, it made the oh. world more believable with so many side characters. I, I forgot Ramona's middle name is Victoria. Yes. <laughs> she brings that up. I was such a. I read fast, so sometimes I have to reread just to get a general sense of what I kind of sort of missed. Oh, come on! I just got my health up! Come on. Wow, I'm missing him so much. Oh, and I don't like controllers. I can't pull the There it is. Oh, I knocked him down the hole! The I told only, you, it's possible. The, the it's only just, downside. Oh, careful the wet spot. Well, it's just funny. I know it's possible, I'm just saying it's funny. Wait, wait. Ew. The only downside to knocking them down the hole is you don't get the points. There it goes. There's the subspace. Yeah, oh. it's always denoted with the star, which is Yeah, I always forget about that. Awesome. It's a shame you can't take uh, items with you. Uh, I think I also said how... Oh, oh shit. God, God damn, we missed the flying pigs. Fuck. <laughs> There'll be more for us to miss. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You remember us. What was it? Oh, I think so before I said how come on, no, not now. My controller got killed. Um, it's gonna be okay. So well, I, I think I can Do you have anything back up? No, I I ha I have I know I know what the issue is, so we will the drip. Yeah, I, I already know what the issue is. I just when we're done with this level, uh we'll we'll take a short tiny little intermission so to grab what I need to fix it. Do a quick fix. There we go. Think smarter, not harder. Okay. No, I forgot how much. Think with, um, with smooth brain. I, yeah, <laughs> I forgot how much it, they did take the final book as the final level for this game. The whole like giant mega like Gideon thing in the subspace. Yeah, that was. That really was cool. actually. I was like, oh. I love the little pose there. Ooh. Oh, this is a bop too. Yeah, this I'm is a bop. I say that every time. Yeah, there's some good. Boppy dee bops. Boppy dee bop bops. I will spam this. I am not afraid to fucking <laughs> spam this. Damn it. Cool, yeah, cool. I have a dive kick. I have a dive kick. Let's get a sword. Oh, where are you? Where's the air yeah, sword? Okay, grab money though. Grab money. Money's in front. Can we go this way or that way? There's nothing in this. That's weird. I don't think I've ever been over here. Was there anything over here ever? Uh, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Huh, weird. Okay, let's keep I going. guess it's giving you, like, options of, like, weapons. Maybe? Maybe, I guess. Because there's, like, a dagger. Ah, fucking <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> we walked right into this. Wait. Huh? We, got, we gotta be patient. We, I know we still have a couple Was lives. Was this turn-based battling? 
And we got, no, legit, kind of. Because we, <laughs> we got to make it here. I don't want another Todd incident happening anytime soon. Like, if it happens on, like, Gideon, makes complete sense because that area is insane. <laughs> I don't mind using game FAQs for your items and stuff like that. That's fine. I don't feel as bad using it um, after I've beaten a game. But also... Um, you technically have beaten this we're, game. We're also older, so we, we have limited time in our lives as adults. So well, it's like, also, just get to the point, well, it, you know? You, you just say yourself, you already beat the game, technically. So. I mean, I've technically beaten the game. There was a, a quote by... Was it George R. R. Martin? Gur? I'm, Gur? Just, I'm trying to remember who said it. But there was a um, creator that was like... Wait, wait, yeah, ah, fucking shit. That was like, I only have a limited amount of time, so if I'm not like immediately vibing with something within like the first like certain amount of time, then I just quit it and I move on because I like my time is limited. Was it him? I, th I think it was someone else. I I'll look that up later. But I that really resonated with me. I just have a bad memory. I can't remember who said it. But like, if you don't like something, you don't have to force yourself to watch it. It's like I remember when I was younger, I'd like force myself to watch certain shows because I didn't want to be not like, hip with the other kids. Well, simply because I wanted, I felt like everyone had like in jokes for different shows and stuff, and I was like, I don't know what they're talking about. So I felt like. I wasn't able to be part of the conversation, but it's like, you don't really have to do that. You, you could just, just sit out the conversation. <laughs> you don't have to, yeah. especially if you don't like something. Yeah, for me, for Scott Pilgrim, I, I read, like, for, we'll get back, to, uh, get, I, I guess, really in Scott Pilgrim, I, I only read, like I said, I only read because, like, a great said he was doing, it, my favorite director said, oh, he was doing this, so I'm like, I'm curious. And I like the really, like, graphic novel. I still think the movie's really good, but I like the book more, and that just shows, like, I didn't do it because, like, everybody was doing it. I was doing it because, like, my favorite director was doing it, and I, I trust his opinion on stuff, so I'm like, sure, why not, you know? And I wound up loving the Scott Pilgrim series. I love the soundtrack. I I used to listen to just the soundtrack when I used to go to Valencia a lot more often. Well, Valencia East for school, I used to listen to it a lot more often. I'd listen to Anamara Gucci on the bus a lot. Yeah, like so, when I used exactly. to use the bus to commute. So I, I get what you mean, like having that peer pressure. The word, the term we're looking for is peer pressure. It's it's really awesome how um a lot a lot with a lot of series like you're like well I like the comic but not the movie or I like uh, the movie and not the comic rap, or me, you know stuff like that. But, oh, it's the Cat Gideon. <laughs> but like um, with Scott Pilgrim, a lot of it. Is, a, a lot of, I feel like a lot of people, they like, Okay, I'm down. Oh, don't blame me. Why are you blaming me? No. Wait, what's I, I, this? I was, You're pumping your fist? I, I wasn't saying, are you kidding me, you died. I was saying, are you kidding me, like, how am I going to do it with all these people here? That's fine, that's fine. Okay, you were saying that? So, like, the reason why I was pumping my fist is because I was no, the other, not the, on the correct No, 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 I, I got that. I was I was joking with you. What was the, the original thing you were talking about before I died? Oh, Jesus Christ. We were talking about peer pressure to watch, like, popular pop culture related stuff. Oh, I was saying, uh, well, I do have a bad memory, so but that's the thing. But anyway, um... Oh, jeez, uh, hold on a sec. Come on. Oh, okay. oh, I was saying a lot. A lot of people uh, come on really come en up. enjoy like Damn all it. the different versions of Scott Pilgrim. Like I feel like that's. I mean, there's people who are like, oh, the movie's no good. But I feel like there's more people who like all the different media than uh, you know. People will be like, oh well. Damn it. The, yeah. The live action sucks of this, or you know, the comics are better. Or, you know, for a lot of different media. I feel like Scott Pilgrim, a lot more people like all iterations of it, and I think that's really cool that they were able to um, make it work. You know, what move did I get now? I can't check when I have a sword, but... And what's... Can't you pop? E? Oh, I have... Now I have a... Oh, now I have a... Oh, like she's a, already oh. flashing. 
Yeah, because we've been whacking her with a sword. Like I said, sword. The swords in this game are like the most OP melee weapon. Like, dude. Like I remember there was a cheat code just to get instant power of love sword. Oh. <laughs> pretty good. Damn it! Come on. We got this. We, we, Damn it! We still have like zero counts for life in this game. I love that. Were you? Were, did you ever test that in other old video games? How your life system work? If it's like, oh, I have zero lives, that means I have one life left, or it's just <laughs> one life and that was it. And there we go, we got Final her. Strike. <laughs> like it, 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 we we dragged. I love. It. I love grab the grab the grab the pick. I, I love I love the Sonic, uh, reference there with the the animals. Yeah. That's so cool. Speaking of Sonic, their original band name was Sonic and Knuckles. Scott's original band name was Scott was Sonic and Knuckles. That's because. That's because Sonic 3 and Knuckles is such a good game. <laughs> Bystander. Ah, I was awesome this time. Um, we have to definitely check our move list just to get better at what we have because we keep on just using the same shit. Because now I have a double jump. I had a move I was talking about as well where they beat you, she beats them down while they're on the ground now. Yay! We made it through a level without having to repeat it. Well, to be fair, I think what helped was going back and getting the stuff to... I think we should take just a quick detour to, like, okay. something but, and then come back. But for now, though, uh, this can be the end of this part. So, join us next time as we take on the Katsuyanagi Twins. I think I said that right. <laughs> um, so, as always, folks, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know what you thought of our playthrough so far. Scott Pro vs. The World, the game, the edition. Um, and of course, check out all Nancy AK Stellar Nan stuff on her channel, youtube.com slash Stellar Nan. And she's all on the socials as well. But in oh, also check out our previous parts of Playthrough Scott Pilgrim. Also check out, we all, I also did another two minute episode, two episode playthrough with my brother. Trampolines were involved. So until next time though, I'm Kristen. I'm Stellar Nan. And that has been a very ninja filled episode of SRP Gaming. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.